All right, Shalom, Shalom. This is your brother Ayab, the Cleveland branch here at GMS Cleveland. Coming back at you with another quick hit through the power and spirit of the Most High and His Son, who this present evil world calls God and Jesus Christ. But in the ancient Paleo Hebrew, we would know the Father as Yahweh, which means He is or He exists, and Yahweh Shai, which means He's the Savior or He's the Deliverer for the nation of Israel. The nation of Israel consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Central Indians on your father's side. Because according to the Bible, the book of Numbers, the first chapter in the 18th verse, you decide your bloodline lineage through the house of your father, man. And uh, before I get into these quick couple of scriptures, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Bahashem, Rakal, Kadash, double honors to the elders and apostles, a great millstone that rule and teach well, peace, love, and salutations to the house of David, man, the hopeful elect that's preaching this truth in all four corners of the earth. And uh, I'm going to just go in today on prospering, man, because our people think we was brought here to prosper and they can just do what they want be niggas and spicks and prosper in this wicked world in this wicked society man but uh we was brought here on slave ships to serve out in captivity because we didn't hearken and uh i'm gonna just get straight into the scriptures man this is the book of joshua chapter one and verse eight it says this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. And that's something where people got misconstrued. They think the Bible is a book of fairy tales and a, a book of stories. But it's a history book and a book of law. Moral laws, civil laws, dietary laws. I mean, it's a way to govern your life if you were so-called Negro, Latino, and Native Samoan Indian, man. <clears throat> it says, this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night. You're supposed to meditate on these scriptures, man. You're supposed to meditate on the words of Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah. These is the words of life, man. Without these words, man, you dead, man. Uh, just to prove that, let me get that in Proverbs. What is it, 21? 21 and 16? This is Proverbs chapter 21, verse 16. <clears throat> the man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. The way of understanding is the ways of the, is the words of our power, man. The scriptures, man. When you apply them, man, because it's something to read these words, but it's another thing to apply what you read. That's real wisdom. <clears throat> Where was I just at? Okay, back in Joshua. This is Joshua chapter 1, verse 8. It says, This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then shalt thou make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. The only way to have good success and to be prosperous is to what? It says meditate, observe to do all that is written therein, man. Talking about all the commandments, all the statutes, all the laws. To the best of your ability, man. And we're supposed to do this as a nation, as a whole. It's our heritage. This is our way of life. This is our way to rule. That's why we're not ruling, because we're not doing all the things and observing all the things that were written therein. <clears throat> this is what the Most High told us. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 1, and verse 1. 
These be the words which Moses spake to all Israel on this side of Jordan in the wilderness. I'm going to stop there. So the book of Deuteronomy is to all Israel that was in the wilderness, man. So let's jump down to the 28th chapter and the first verse. It says, and it shall come to pass, meaning it shall happen, it will happen. If thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Hearken, the root word of hearken is here, meaning listen, Shammai in the Hebrew. Diligently, meaning to, to really put forth effort. Unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do his commandments, which I commanded thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. So if the Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native and Seminole Indians would have hearkened to the words of the Lord and did his commandments, he would have set us on high above all the nations that's upon the face of the earth. Because he made the world for our sakes. Look at that. Second, six. No, it's seven and 10. Okay, this is uh, Second Ezra, a book that's in the Apocrypha, chapter six, no, chapter seven, and I'm gonna start at verse ten. And I said, "It is so, Lord." Then said he unto me, "Even so, also is Israel's portion." So the root, I mean, uh, the uh, Salakia. So I just got a brain freeze. The subject matter is Israel. Because for their sakes, I made the world. For whose sake? The subject matter, Israel. And when Adam transgressed my statues, then was the decree that now is done. What's that? Death. That's why we die, man. The way to sin is what? Death. So if we would have kept the ways of the Most High, man, we would be on top. We would be ruling. We would really be kings, princes, and princesses, man. But the Most High calling us back, bringing us back to our fold, to our heritage. And we go turn this place upside right, not upside down. So that was just a quick hit, man, through the spirit, man. I like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakhak, Kadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles. Peace, love, and salutations to the hopeful elect.